Hey, I'm Mabel McDuff, and you're here to hear a kick-ass story about a ghost painting. Awesome. Okay, so this guy named James Kidd, a commercial photographer, took a picture in 1994 of an old stagecoach stop in Tombstone, Arizona. However, when he took the picture, it revealed something unexpected. Standing on a log to the left of the wagon is a figure, a headless man. Now you could see his coat, you could see his pants and his boots and the log, but the guy has no head. So he takes the picture and he lets a woman who paints for art galleries and such paint an oil painting of it. So she starts to paint it and you know she's feeling queasy and strange she's like I don't know if this is right for me but she finishes it and gets through it so she takes the painting sticks it in her office and people in the office call her up a few days later you know can you come get this ghost painting it's creepy you know this headless man apparently the um, picture became crooked every morning like, even if they fixed it, it was crooked the next day. The appointments were all messed up. The papers went missing. You know, so, okay. She goes and she gets the painting. She brings it back to her house. And she puts it against the wall um, of the living room. And on the other side is the garage. Now, a few days later, they notice a leak coming from the garage and the roofers came out, they looked at it, I mean, brand new house, and they looked at it, the roof, it had no hole. There was no place where water could get in. And they're like, okay. So they moved the painting and it never leaked again, ever. So another instance um, of spilled salt. Now ghosts I hear like minerals or metals, anything that's, I think, from the earth, they can really get energy from. So one night she's making dinner for her husband in the other room while he's watching TV. She puts the salt and pepper on the table, and when she comes back into the room from getting her husband, she notices that there's salt everywhere on the counter, even though the salt and pepper shakers are both still sitting where she had put them. They're not knocked over, there's just it's salt everywhere. It's very odd. Um, another, another experience, which this just blows my mind. This is crazy. She's laying in the grass outside, you know, warm summer day, you're outside, and her husband comes out, brings her a drink. And it's an alcoholic beverage, so there's like, it was from a mixing machine, and you know, everything's all diced up and everything. So he gives it to her. And he has one. They start drinking on the lawn and everything. Nice day. Cool drink. Everything goes smoothly. So he asks her, he's like, do you want another drink? After she finishes hers. And she says, sure. Let's get hammered. Why not? No. So he goes in. He mixes her another drink. He gets another drink himself. They... He comes out, gives her a drink, they start drinking it. Halfway down her drink, she notices this huge chunk of glass. Like, I'm thinking two or three inches, because she said it wasn't small enough to swallow. So she gets this huge chunk of glass. He kind of looks at her and was like, where's that from? They check the glass. They check the mixer. They check, you know, everything they can. No explanation to where this chunk of glass came from really scary. I mean, she could have she could have like cut her tongue or her lips or something on it. Really crazy. So, later on, she takes a photo of the painting. And you know, a friend's mother-in-law comes over, you know, everybody's just visiting. Friend's mother-in-law comes over. She's like, "Oh, you know, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts, whatever." She's like, "Let me see the painting." looks at the painting, okay, looks at the picture, and just laughs at it. 
out of all the things. Why the hell would you laugh at that? Okay, so she laughs at, laughs at it. You know, oh, that's not real. Whatever. So she goes home that night, you know, goes to bed, goes to sleep, because she doesn't believe in ghosts, sleeps soundly, until halfway through the night, a clock that had been on her wall for 40 years, 40 years, fell down and broke into like a hundred pieces. Crazy. I mean, there's been other instances where, you know, objects have fallen off the walls, um, things happening with the cards that they're playing with, and figures going around corners, a whole bunch of things going on with this. A whole bunch of things. So the last thing that, that happened, um, last experience they had, was a knock on the front door. Both the husband and the wife heard it, looked at each other, and then they went to go see what it was. But at that time, the two dogs that they had, they didn't hear it. They didn't move, they didn't, you know, acknowledge it at all. So they went and looked at the door, you know, tested out the door. They went to see if anybody was outside, no one was outside. It was just, just crazy. No explanation, just this guy, headless, standing on a log, next to an old wagon. Very scary. Very creepy. So, um, I will post the picture, so go and check that motherfucker out. Because, scary, but awesome. I love ghost pictures, so if you got ghost pictures that you want to share with me, or any kind of painting stories, you know, send them to me. Give me a little feedback on what you thought, because amazing. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is Maybelline, signing out.